Yes, sir, I'll do it. I'll do it because it's mine to do. And I did, and those are stories, let me tell you, that we don't have enough time in this day and tomorrow for the experiences that I had with my two friends that went with me. Because thank goodness I had other witnesses or I'd sound like I was completely a loopy goof. Right? Well, today, we want to remember why we're here. Memorial Day is a time to honor, reflect, and remember those who've made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. I saw on my brother-in-law's Facebook page this morning, don't thank me for being a soldier today. It's not about me. It's about those who gave the ultimate gift. If you want to thank me any other day, that's fine. Veterans Day would be appropriate. But this is a day to remember. To remember the sacrifices. And what is a sacrifice? I mean, can you even define such a thing? I had to look it up to be sure, because I didn't want to mess anything up. Destruction or surrender of something for the sake of something else. Something giving up to the lost. For God gave his only begotten son, yeah, and to give life in the name of a friend, it's all there. We keep making circles as we keep living, just as Jesus did, we've done for friends, they've done for our country. God is, God's got his hand in all of it, but a lot of the time we can't understand. We just, we have to have that F word, that faith. <laughs> I almost stepped in that one. <laughs> Sorry about that. That wasn't even meant to be funny. <laughs> but uh, I want to read a couple of quotes. Faith, F-A-I-T-H. Linda's up here laughing at off. All right. A woman by the name of Claudia Pemberton said it this way. America without her soldiers would be like God without his angels. Bob Dylan. A hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. That's put pretty plainly, right? The next few are anonymous. We don't know them all, but we owe them all. Home of the free because of the brave. If you want to thank a soldier, be the kind of American worth fighting for. Amen to that. That was Thomas, no, that was anonymous as well. But Thomas Campbell says, the patriot's blood is the seed of freedom's tree. And Ronald Reagan. Some people live an entire lifetime and wonder if they've ever made a difference in the world. A veteran does not have that problem. So at this time, I want to reflect on not only those who were lost in these horrible wars, but we need to remember those who were left behind, the families, the friends. You know, those people left the planet, but they left behind some pretty sad hearts. And what I'd like to do is anybody in the audience who had a family member or very close friend who was lost in any war, all the way back to the Civil War, I'd like you to raise your hand because I would like to know their name. Okay. Your first name? Jeremy Oliver. Okay, and tell us about the name. Stephen Oliver. Stephen was in the army. Stephen was in the Marines. Okay, he was lost. And he was an Agent Orange casualty uh, about six years ago. 
God bless you, and I'm sorry for your sacrifice of your loved one. A dear friend, Tom Edwards, uh, died in Vietnam. I'm sorry for the loss of your friend. God bless you. Hands up over here, did I see? PJ? Excuse me, I'll get there, I promise you. about those prisoners of war and those who are, are presumed missing in action. They're another reason that song was, was made, to come in, to be found, to shine a light upon their sacrifices. You know, um, it wasn't my intention to come in here and make you all cry today, which I've obviously done a good job of. <laughs> So I will come up with um, a couple of questions just to kind of bring it up a little bit and um, see if you know the answers to these. What was a Memorial Day originally called? It's Veterans Day, Flag Day, Decoration Day, or War Remembrance Day? Decoration Day is correct. Memorial Day initially commemorated which conflict? The American Revolutionary War, the Mexican War, World War II, or the Civil War? Civil War. Y'all are so smart. <coughs> okay, here's a good one. What organization called for decorating the graves of fallen soldiers on May 30th, 1868? Was it the Odd Fellows? Uh, Abraham Lincoln Association? The Grand Army of the Republic? or the United Daughters of the Confederacy? It's the Grand Army of the Republic. All right, I'll leave this last one. Decorating the graves of the dead soldiers was similar to what European Catholic tradition? Bastille Day, European Union Day, Monarchy Day, or All Saints Day? All Saints Day. You win the prize. I forgot to bring Bill. <laughs> Darn. Well, right now, I'm going to go ahead and have a seat. And I would like for all of you to direct your attention to the screen. The screen will be filling with the images 
of those in our family, in our friends, who served and who are no longer with us. Wow, I heard me singing. <laughs> sacrifices and our sacrifices as well as we we bid them goodbye but thank them eternally for their service to our country <laughs> 